Using the latest gadgets can be daunting for average user. With every new model and even software updates, tech companies tend to offer more features we might not know about. That is unless you closely watch the product demo or read the brochure. So today we're going to try and make everyone's life easier. What we have with us is the new Huawei MatePad Pro 11 and the accessories that comes with it. The Huawei M Pencil, second generation, and the detachable Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard. In this video, we'll show you some tips and tricks on how to use this tablet and maximize the different creative apps available. I'm B-Boy from Yucatec, and let's get into it. First off, a brief background about the device. It is the latest tablet sold by Huawei, and it was only launched in the APAC last July 2022, and it's already available in the Philippines for pre-order. We'll just link it down below where you can purchase this one. It uses Huawei's Harmony OS 3.0 system, which if you're a first-time user, it will look, feel, and similar to Apple iOS. Okay, first, so let's start with the lock screen. From here, we can already access several apps by swiping up from the bottom. The default apps include a voice recorder, flashlight, calculator, and stopwatch without having to enter your PIN. Next is the Easy Access Camera app. Once you see the camera icon on the bottom right corner, just swipe up. Here we will see AI Lens, which opens up the camera and can scan QR codes by choosing the code scanner. You can also translate text. Let's say, I want to know the meaning of this text. Cool, right? And there's also shopping and identify. Basically, the difference in the two is that if you want to find similar items, select shopping and it will give you multiple products and store where you can possibly find or purchase the item. While the identify is if you want to know the specific detail of a certain object you are scanning. Open up the device and you'll be greeted with all the apps like with any other Huawei smartphone. In Huawei MatePad Pro 11, you can actually swipe up on some applications, making it easier to use. Here's how it works. Look closely. You can see some of the apps have a small line underneath them. There are the apps you can swipe up and you'll be given options on what to do. For example, swiping up on the camera app allows you to choose between photo, video, portrait, and selfie modes immediately. Though, take note that not all apps have this option. You will also find the recently used apps on the lower right portion of the screen, beside the dock. Your last used apps will be stored there, and you can access them by swiping left. If you do plan on playing games with the Huawei MatePad Pro 11, you'll want to maximize the display's refresh rate. The tablet has an 11-inch screen with 2560 by 1600 resolution OLED display with the 120Hz refresh rate. To access this, you need to go to the Settings, Display and Brightness, and click on the screen refresh rate. By default, it will run on dynamic mode, which balances smoothness of 120Hz and battery life. However, you can change it to high for smoother visuals and constant 120Hz but sacrifices battery life. Meanwhile, the standard limits the refresh rate to 60Hz but does save some power. Those that have used Android before might not be fond of gesture control. Thankfully, this device does come with traditional 3-key navigation aside from the gesture control. To change it, first go to Settings, then System and Updates, and tap System Navigation. Here, you can choose between two settings of your preference, either gesture or 3-key navigation. But there's also a third option, which is called Navigation Dock, located when you click More. When activated, a small circle button shows up on the screen, and you can use it to return to the previous screen by tapping, or go to the home screen by tapping once. And when you click or swipe left or right, it will show your recent apps. Now back on the home screen, you can swipe from the left or right and hold to open the side panel. A mini sidebar will pop up and it comes preloaded with apps that you might find useful. Unfortunately, not all apps can be placed here, but there are a few which you can choose by clicking the last option. It will then show the apps that you can add to the mini sidebar. Now on the topic of the apps. There are also a few apps available on the Huawei MatePad Pro 11 that can help increase productivity and make your life easier. This includes Huawei Notes, Petal Clips, WPS Office, and Mojing Paint. As the name suggests, Huawei Note is the exclusive note-taking app. The difference is that it is connected with other Huawei devices that have the same app. This means that you can continue working on your files from your tablet to the phone or vice versa. The app also offers various ways to take down notes. You can type them down or if you have the Huawei M Pencil 2nd generation, you can just scribble like a traditional notebook. With M Pencil, there's also handwriting to text feature called Prescript. Basically, you just scribble words and the app automatically turns them into text. Pretty nifty, right? To access this, open Notes app, tap the T icon, and it will show a small box. 
Then, scribble any text and see the tab that do its magic. Once you're done, you can export the note either as a PDF or an image, making it easier to share with others. For the artists out there, there's Mojin Paint. It's essentially a drawing app that is comparable to Procreate app that allows you to create whatever you wish on the screen from almost anywhere. This app is best paired with the new M Pencil. Here you can choose between several brushes to match your art style. The app also supports pressure sensing for more accurate drawings, like Procreate on the iPad. You can even create new layers without even modifying the original drawing. If you need to pick a color, Color Capture allows users to select and apply colors across different apps in any scenarios, including multi-window, app multiplier, or small window. Color Capture is also across devices and can select colors through other Huawei devices such as laptop or smartphones. The way this works is simply connect to super device, which is in our case, is our Huawei P50 Pocket. To connect a smartphone to your tablet, swipe down in the navigation and you'll see Super Device tab and the device we want to connect. Tap it and it will now show the multi-screen connection. Next, open the Mojin Paint and use the eyedropper to select the specific color we want to replicate which in our case is the image on our smartphone. And you will see that the color we selected is now in our palette. This also works with multi-window. For example, browser on the left and drawing app on the right. Let's say we want to grab the color from our browser, going to our drawing app. Again, simply tap the eyedropper tool and select the color we want to copy, and voila, that's it. This also works with Notes app, just like this one. For those that works on the go, there's the WPS Office. It's similar to Microsoft Office on your PC, and comes with Word, Excel Spreadsheet, PowerPoint, PDF, Memo, and Doc Scanner, all in one application. With WPS Office, the Huawei MatePad Pro 11 can be your alternative to a laptop, especially if you want to travel light. That means you can transfer the files to your computer and continue working on them afterwards. Plus, you can get a free 3 months of WPS Office VIP membership when you pre-order the Huawei MatePad Pro 11. Petal Clip is Huawei's in-house editing software and allows users to create and edit videos. There's a wide range of editing features including special effects, stickers, and even sound effects for video creation. Think of it like Adobe Premiere but for mobile. The beauty of this, it comes with Auto Create feature. To do so, just open Petal Clip, select Auto Create, choose all the images and videos you want to be present on your movie. You can also tap HD Quality for high resolution output and tap Auto Create. From here, you can choose different available templates. Once happy with the video, tap Export and you can choose from 480p up to 4K resolution. And just wait for it to export in just a few seconds. Speaking again of the M Pencil, if you happen to order your Huawei MatePad Pro 11 with it, you can do a bit more. Using the M Pencil, pull to the center from the upper right corner of the screen, a menu will pop up allowing you to choose between Annotate or Take Snippet. Annotate works if you're sharing your screen with others, allowing you to draw and write stuff over documents or items. But the best part is you can annotate on any part of your screen, like home screen, apps, and settings. This is very helpful if you want to easily share your ideas. Meanwhile, Snippet allows you to take screenshots using the M Pencil. Simply draw into the part where you want to take the snippet and it will then create a bounding box of your selected screenshot. From here, you can edit the photo, paint if you want to copy the image to other documents, and share button to share it to other Huawei devices. Using the Huawei M Pencil second generation, you can also quickly access several apps such as the Annotate and Snippet. All you need to do is just tap the stylus and it will open the quick access. To enable this functionality, go to Settings, Accessibility Features, Stylus, and choose Open Shortcut Menu. You also have other choices like switch between current tools and eraser. With this, no need to tap anymore on the eraser button. Also, other choices such as switch between current and previous tool and open palette. In addition to the M Pencil, you can also get the detachable Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard to make life even easier. When paired with the device, you can effectively turn your system into a laptop. You can also split the keyboard from the tablet. There are actually three modes. First is the laptop form. This is best for typing documents. Next is split form if you want to use the keyboard on a separate position. And lastly, studio form is best for artists who want to have the precise and comfortable drawing position which can support 120 degree to 165 degree angle view. What's interesting about the keyboard is that it's more than just a keyboard. Huawei says this smart keyboard features a hidden antenna which helps amplify and enhance Wi-Fi signal. Well, cool right? Perhaps one of the best features of the Huawei MatePad Pro 11 is Super Device. It allows you to connect with other Huawei devices without the need for a cable. 
you haven't seen a Huawei laptop, this tablet can act as an additional screen to make multitasking easier. You can also pick up where you left off from watching a movie or editing a document from the tablet to the laptop too. We tried it with the new Huawei MatePad D16 and it's very easy to connect. First, you have to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on and that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Then log in using the same Huawei ID on both devices. All you need to do now is go to settings on the tablet, super device, and add the Huawei device you're using to pair. We actually have a separate video featuring the Huawei super device. If you haven't watched that, I'll just link it down below in the description box. Super device is great because it makes it very convenient to continue working or whatever it is you were doing. Well, that very much covers it for this tips and tricks video with the Huawei MatePad Pro 11 and its accessories. Did you miss any feature that could make your life easier? Let us know in the comment section down below. Oh, I almost forgot. Also, if you are watching this video before the promo ends, Huawei MatePad Pro 11 will have a special pre-order promo, which you will see in the screen right now. If you enjoyed watching this video, do drop us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified once we upload new videos. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok account. Once again, this is BYF Yuga Tech, and thanks for watching.